So welcome to Jenkins Platform Special Interest Group. It's the 11th of February, 2022. Topics we've got on the agenda include open action items, require Java 11 or newer, Linux operating system support policy, switching Linux packages from system five in it to system D, and an exit lifecycle change. Sahitya, any other topics you'd like to put on the agenda? No, sir, this is... Okay, yes. great. Well, thank you for joining. So I'm just gonna go through these. I think the meeting will be relatively brief. So we've still got the open action item on plugin installation manager documentation. That's one that I need to take action on. It's just lower priority given other things are much more pressing. The, the most interesting one for today's session is that we're laying out plans for when we will make the transition to no longer use Java 8 as a, a working choice for the, the Java version used by Jenkins. And so this Jenkins enhancement proposal that is on screen right now. Yes, sir. Is, is proposing what the steps are we should take in order to switch from Java 8 to Java 11 as the primary JVM. So let's get that visible. Here we go. And it talks about the plan, it talks about which changes need to be made, why, et cetera. So, so encourage people to review it, welcome them to review it, et cetera. Okay, sir. Uh, there are there is an epic in JIRA that is tracking this. And it's got four or five items right now. There are a number of candidate issues that need to be reviewed. And there are, there's the Java 11 epic whose its issues also need to be reviewed. So there are a number of places where we can use help as people look at this to see are there other problems that we may confront as we drop support for Java 8 and make Java 11 our new minimum. Yes, sir. Then the next, the, any questions on the Java 11 change? Sir, I am new to this open source organization. So I want to know how, how I will, you know, contribute the code. Oh, good. And I am happy to help you with that, that you with that. Sahitya, let's let's plan a time when we could do some 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 mentoring, and you could join us for Google Summer of Code office hours, for instance, or yes. documentation office hours. And happy to give you help getting started there. Definitely. Definitely. Great. So, if you want to just ping me separately as Mark .wait at gmail.com on email, I'll be happy to schedule a time with you to to help you get started. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Thank so you. then on Linux operating system support policy, we've not had a, an explicitly declared support policy in the past. So this document is adding an official support policy. And it talks about why we want this policy, what the platforms are that will support, et cetera. Um, this was opened about a month ago and recently was revised. Look forward to people doing further review of it before we, before we merge it. Okay. Sir. Then the last topic is on the Linux installer packages. So the RPM for Red Hat, the RPM for SUSE, and the Debian package are currently using System 5 in it as their as their initialization manager. Um, we're gonna switch that to the more modern system D as part of a pull request that's been submitted by Basil Crow. That pull request needs much more testing. It needs more documentation. Sahitya, if you'd like to contribute to, to Jenkins, this is actually, it might be an interesting place to help us with per, yeah. by performing tests and exploring it. Yeah. So yes, if sir. you refer to this pull request here, you can see some guidelines on how to test it, the kinds of things to be tested, some of the bugs that are being fixed by it, et cetera. So would love to have your help there if you've got Linux experience. Yeah. Or yes, if you're sir. interested in developing, having Linux experience. Yes, 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 sure. Great, all right, thank you. And then we've got a, 
some changes that are, have recently merged to Jenkins core that first became available in Jenkins 2.333, that will first be visible in a long-term support release in June of 2022. So this change won't be fully implemented until at least June of 2022 based on current plans. Yeah. And those are the topics okay. that we wanted to cover today. Any other topics, Sahitya, other than you and I scheduling a separate session for some, some onboarding? Um, sir, I, I want just to know how to contribute. Just That's the main topic. Great. And I am happy to help you with that. We'll, we'll, if we can do that in a separate session, just send me an email message and we'll do some planning for that. Yep. All right, thank you. Then I'm gonna go ahead and call this meeting done. And yep, yep, sir. thanks very, very much. Thank and you, we'll sir. meet again in two weeks. Definitely, definitely, sir.